Hey there, <clears throat> brothers and sisters in Christ. All those who see this video that um, have the calling within them, I speak to you, to those who have ears to hear. You know, I was baptized Catholic, grew up Catholic, my mom was Catholic. Um, I actually spent a lot of time in the Catholic Church and saw the same pattern of um, the same pattern of ap apostasy in this church. And I get into debates all the time with uh, Catholics about, um, you know, what's the authority of the Catholic Church. They say if you're not a Catholic, you're, you know, you're not a Christian. Basically, they have the keys to heaven. You know, if you don't, if you don't worship um, their way and you don't, you don't uh, submit to the Pope and his authority over the world, then uh, you're not going to enter into heaven. And um, I want to tell you that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Um, I want to go ahead and just make a stand right now in the face of all religion um, to let the world know that God is not about religion. God is not about the ways of man. He has no, he has no pleasure in the ways of man. All these things that we build, these cathedrals and these icons and um, these statues and all these weird paintings. And I mean, you can go and find all kinds of just straight up demonic stuff. I mean, it's, there's nothing, I'm just not even going to hold any punches on this video. Um, the Catholic Church is not only apostate, but it's wicked. It is a uh, sick system that is getting people to follow after Satan. I mean, it is Satan incarnate. Um, and, and the sad fact is, is that the vast majority of people that follow this religion, they are truly brainwashing to believe in this the right way. They think that Peter was the first pope and that all the popes have authority after that. And it has to be this man-made establishment that's um, the authority of God. I even talked to this one guy online who says that the second coming of Christ is actually um, the, the uh, Catholic armies that went in and killed people. Or the Gentile army that came in was uh, God coming on the clouds. It was, a, it was an army of men that went in and killed people. I mean... Sick things, sick and twisted teachings that they try to put into the minds of children, um, the minds of you, the children of God, the ones who are seeking and thirsting and hoping that you have something in this world that's going to lead you to Christ. And the truth is, there's nothing in this world that's going to lead you to Christ. Don't even listen to my words. Um, hear, hear what I say and take it with a grain of salt, but go to Christ yourself. Go on your knees before God and he'll reveal the truth to you. He reveals truth. You see, it's the word of God that comes in spirit and truth that's the revelation knowledge that gives the knowledge from within you. That's where, it, that's where it originates, you see, because it is from within where God originates. And that's that's those who seek power, those who want to set up this religious system, they hate that. That's why they killed Jesus. They can't stand the fact that God could choose a terrible sinner person who had never been pious, never followed after all these traditions of uh, religion and traditions of men, and um, didn't come from um, all this religious jargon and know all um, these schools and um, seminaries and know every scripture in the Bible. God could take that person and turn him into the same as Peter. They can't, they, they don't even want to even possibly fathom that. And we wonder why the body is walking in, in weakness today. We wonder why the body of Christ is just like, floundering today and and has an identity crisis about who we are it's because we've been fed these lies we've been fed all these lies and it's just been telling us wrong telling us wrong telling us wrong and they have us believing that we have to follow after these man-made institutions to find our way to god that somehow they know god better than you do i don't know god better than you do you go on your hands and knees god will reveal himself to you he says anyone who seeks wholeheartedly anyone who goes and seeks me wholeheartedly they will find me, and I will reveal myself to them. Anyone who believes in me and loves me and obeys me, I will come into him and sup with him. This is the Father speaking. You know, the Father, his spirit speaking through Jesus. Jesus said, I will come into you and sup too. You see, Jesus was the, the Son of God. The Son of God and the Father will come into you, and it's awesome. But let me explain to you why it's not from the outside that you hear. For faith come by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. The Word of God comes in spiritual revelation. Hearing, there's different levels of hearing. Just like there's always going to be different levels of faith. You know, I can have uh, faith um, to lay my hands on someone and they be healed. God can use me because I have that open conduit of believing that God's going to do that. Now we can have another child of Christ that's coming up that might not have that level of faith. 
but they may have a level enough faith to go out and preach the gospel to someone and that and God builds upon those blocks you see it's the levels of faith just like when uh, Peter when uh, Jesus turned to Peter and asked him but who do you say that I am Peter and Peter said you are the Christ the son of the living God and Jesus answered and said to him blessed are you Simon Barjona you see his name was Simon Barjona at that time for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but my father who is in heaven has revealed this to you spiritual revelation it came through him what came out of his mouth the profession of faith you are the Christ you are the son of God where did it come from the Spirit of God revealed it to him the father in heaven and also I say to you that you are Peter okay he changed his name at that moment he said you are Peter for you are the first let me repeat that you are the first of many that will profess I am the Christ I am the Son of God and on this rock I will build my church on what rock on the rock of faith you see on this rock it's a little r not the rock Jesus Jesus is the rock Jesus is the faith he is the cornerstone he's the rock that builds our faith right but on the profession of faith and he didn't say if it was Peter if he was saying Peter on you you're the man I'm gonna build my church on you a man he would have said and also I say to you that you are Peter and on you I will build my church you are my church no he said and on this rock referring to the profession of faith the profession of you are the Christ the son of the living God let's get this straight people let's get this straight there is no man on earth let me repeat that there's no man on earth there's only one man one man who stands between you and God and that is Jesus for he is the way the truth and the life that flesh that perfect flesh that died on the cross that walked in perfect obedience to God that was truly infallible the son of the living God he is your guide he is the one that you submit to he is the one that you commune with he is the one that you obey he is the one that you follow you don't follow after me you don't follow after any preachers you don't follow after any pat I don't care who they are you don't follow them you say I'll sit here and listen to what you're teaching me because I know by your fruits I know that you're my brother in Christ and God's gonna speak through you and I'm gonna listen to your teaching but I'm not gonna follow you I'm not gonna follow you I'm not gonna set you up on a pedestal just like you don't set me up on a pedestal now the words that I may say to you may you may hear what I'm saying and it sparks the spiritual revelation in you and then the spirit will reveal things to you and that's what we're here for we're we are catalyst we're, we're we're feeding just like you said peter feed my sheep tend my sheep feed my sheep we're feeding see the bread of life comes down from heaven it comes into us and then the living waters come out of us and that living water comes to you and gives you a little quench of that living water but then you must go to christ you must go through jesus to the source of all power the father in heaven and by the spirit it's revealed to you just like by the spirit it was revealed to peter the profession of faith and he said and upon this profession of faith I will build my church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it and I will give you now he's saying and I will give you Peter the kingdom of the keys to the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven yes he said I will give you the keys because he was the first one that preached the truth he was the first one that out of his mouth came the gospel Christ the Son of God Jesus the Christ Yeshua the Hamashiach the Messiah this is the truth guys the truth of the spirit of truth revealed within us but the keys to the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven that is for anyone who has that profession of faith because he says to those who believe truly believe they could tell this mountain to be thrown into the ocean and it will be done now, if that's if Jesus says that, if we can throw a mountain into the ocean by our profession of faith, would we not also have the powers to bind up uh, anything on on earth, to bind up the forces of darkness, to wage war in the spiritual against the principalities of the air and the forces of darkness? Is this not our role here to wage war? But yet you're spending so much time following after man and his teachings, and then you got people saying, well, in the earliest in the earliest Christian writings in the first century, 
um, it said that this man was the Pope, Ignatius. You know, this is the writings of Christ. If it's not in the Bible, I don't want to hear it because a piece of paper will lay down and let anybody write on it. I know this scripture is true because I know the spirit of truth has revealed it to me that these scriptures are true, that these people were inspired by the same Holy Spirit. That inspires me. You see, within me, I get that sense of knowing. That knowing. This is the truth. Just like when I go into any preacher. Just like when I go into any church. And I hear a preacher preach. I can tell you if he has the Holy Spirit or not. Why? Because I have the Holy Spirit. You see, that is how we discern one another. By our fruits, brothers and sisters. Let no one teach you. Let no one try to teach you outside of what is truth. And what is revealed in the Spirit of truth. If the Spirit of truth is not revealing it within you. Don't listen. Turn from it. Turn from it. Don't follow after religion. Don't follow after these satanic just atrocities that are going on in the Catholic Church. They have, if it ever once was, I don't know if it ever once was true, but if it ever once was true, it's not today, so it doesn't matter. We're talking about the now, here in the now. You got the religion is apostate. You got the Catholic Church is purity satanic. Then you got the secular world with Katy Perry and all this stuff going on on television. And television full of magic and sorcery and witchcraft and just demonic. The whole world, the whole world is owned by Satan. The whole world. You look with your eyes out here at any moment, you could be deceived. You look within. You look within. You go to God in spirit and truth. And you call out to Yeshua HaMashiach and you say, Lord God, reveal the truth to me through your spirit, by your power. And he'll reveal it to you. You know these words are true. When you hear me preach these words, you'll know their truth or not. Because the spirit of truth will reveal it to you. And to those who say it's not truth, I'll tell you what you do. Disprove it. If you can disprove what I just said by using the scriptures, then I will back down. If you can disprove what I said and on this rock, he never said on you, Peter. This is a matter of why the scriptures can be used to deceive. Just like Satan tried to use the scriptures to deceive Jesus. But guess what? True spirit, true spirit following Christians, true spirit filled Christians cannot be deceived. We're the elect, and we have one, we have one high and mighty. We have one advocate. His name is Jesus. I don't need a replacement for Christ. I don't need a replacement for Christ on this earth because I have the true Christ in spirit. Where's his kingdom? What kingdom did he come to establish? The spiritual kingdom, brothers and sisters. People will tell you this, you know, that they're, that's the kingdom on earth. That's a bunch of lies and malarkey, man. They got that's why they killed so many people in the early days because they didn't want to hear it. They're like, no way, man. I know who Jesus is. He came. He came to me. He came to me. Who do you think killed Paul? Who do you think killed Peter, man? This was the Romans, the same ones that took the that took the truth and took it to the um to Italy. They'll try to tell you that that was somehow God's um that was meant to be that they were supposed to inherit the kingdom of God. Sickness is sick. Is sick. We we know we know who crucified Jesus. It was the Romans. We know who crucified Jesus. It was religion. That same religion, that same religious system, the Sanhedrin, the Jews, that those um, Jews who called themselves Jews but weren't, they were the synagogue of Satan. They had uh, already killed a bunch of the prophets, the true true Jews, the true ones who were following the Torah, not the Talmud, who were following the truth, not the lies. Who are following the one true God, not the God of this world. The ones who follow the God of this world, you know them. You know them by their fruits. Look at the Zionists. Look at all this uh, the stuff going on with them trying to make one world religion and that they, um, you know, coexist and all this different stuff going on. Man, I'm telling you, if you if you don't have your eyes on Christ and Spirit and Truth, man, you will be deceived and you will follow after lies and you will follow after false doctrines. This is a warning. This is a warning. Go to Christ. Repent. Turn from sin. Turn from your wickedness. Turn from man and follow after manna that comes down from heaven. The bread of life that comes down from heaven. You see, because his spirit was sent to us by the perfect sacrifice of the living God, Son, the Lamb of God. He sacrificed his life to give us a spirit. How dare you blaspheme the Holy Spirit? Don't follow man. I love you all. God bless you.